In this video, I'll be guiding you how to start using Proxmox helper script to make your life easy when it comes to managing your home lab. These are also called Proxmox automation scripts, whether it is to install a special purpose VM or creating an LXE container for a specific thing. I'll show you directly. Let's dive into the tutorial and we'll see what is Proxmox helper script and how we can use them. So here is syncpix.com and I have provided the link in the description. So this is Proxmox V helper script. If you click here, you will see the GitHub lab. Whether you want to go with the Proxmox VE tools, there is a lot available. This is a ready script available. Single script is there. If I show you this particular script, for example, so this has a line of commands. Instead, you learn yourself how to start using these commands, how to type these commands. So all the commands are listed here, which will supercharge your Proxmox virtual environment. So you don't need to do anything. You simply need to copy this particular code here and you paste this into the Proxmox virtual environment shell. All this script will automatically run. For example, on your home lab, you may not be using the enterprise repository. So what it will do, it will automatically disable the enterprise repository and it will auto correct the PBS resources and so on. And you have to remember that from 1st of July, this will need Proxmox virtual environment 8.2.2. So if I show you current Proxmox virtual environment that I'm using 8.2.2 and today is 1st July, from 1st July, this particular uh, version will be mandatory to run the Proxmox VE helper scripts. So there are total 186 scripts available, which is a lot. You can supercharge your Proxmox environment with the help of these scripts. I provided detailed installation videos also where you will see how you can use the scripts for special purpose or specific need turnkey solutions or virtual machines. So let me show you what these all scripts are. For example, VE tools, as I told you, a backup server post install. So once you have installed the Proxmox backup server, you will run this script. So it will automatically disable the enterprise repository and it will create non-subscription repository and it will update and so on. So you don't need to manually do it. It will do it by itself because it has set of all the commands available within this particular script. Of course, Proxmox VE post install, same it will do the way it did for the backup server. And again, if I show you the scripts here, I'll just copy this. These are all the commands. So it will run all these commands. This routine, it will correct the Proxmox uh, VE sources. Here it will select the correct Proxmox VE sources and so on. It will disable the high availability. By default, it is enabled. This is the PVE post install, which means the Proxmox virtual environment post install script is there in case you want to use it. So you can use this. Then there are some ready made machines available, whether it is container, LXE container, or VM. If you see, for example, Home Assistant, I have provided the link also where you will understand how you can start using Home Assistant by simply using one single command. So it will install complete Home Assistant. So whether you want to install it inside an LXE container, you can do that. So it will install the Home Assistant inside the Docker container. So for that, you can use this. If you want to use Home Assistant OS on VM, this means that you will simply copy this and it will install the virtual machine with the Home Assistant. I have shown you in a different video how we can do that. Here you can see I installed Home Assistant 106 which is now readily available. So you can see here Home Assistant is running right now. So this is through the Proxmox uh, helper script. So it will download and install Home Assistant VM directly. And if you want to use automation, so there are various home automation systems or automation uh, open hab. I have been using this for a long time, but right now I'm satisfied with Home Assistant. I will recommend you to use Home Assistant. So in case you want to use MQTT for machine to machine uh, messaging protocol, uh, I'm using this quite a lot uh, when I'm connecting my IoT devices to the Home Assistant. So you might need this MQTT server. And then databases, readily databases are available. For example, if you want to install MariaDB as an LXE container, you can use that as well. So I'll just simply copy this one script. So it will install. There are a variety of choices when it comes to the databases, whether it is Postgres database, MariaDB database, or MongoDB, and all of these are available. Monitoring our analytics, LXE containers that we have been installing manually. So you can simply copy these uh, scripts and you can install this. Then you have the Docker Kubernetes, whether you want to use a CASA OS, you want to use Docker as an LXE. So you can do that in the Docker Kubernetes scripts. Then operating system, 
if you want to directly install for example ubuntu 22.04 or ubuntu 24.04 as a vm so instead of downloading iso image and installing it and configuring it you can simply choose uh, this particular command it will automatically download the ubuntu 22.04 install it and keep it ready as a virtual machine then these are some turnkey solutions of course turnkey solutions are already there if i go back here to the local pve and ct templates you can see these are the templates if i want to get more templates click on templates you can see there are variety of turnkey solutions available so if you want to get more turnkey solutions so what you can do you can just simply go here turnkey and all the templates use this command i have tested few of them but i'm quite satisfied here is server networking whether you want to go for nginx proxy manager whether you want to go with key clock whether you want to go wireguard whether you want to go with cloud flared these are all the options which are available in server networking and then uh, there are some media and photo related for example next cloud i have been using a lot own cloud is there own cast is there uh, metube is there there are a variety of applications which are available as an lxc container these will be automatically created and you don't need to configure you simply need to copy and paste so whether you are having cctv camera so you can have dvrs or nvrs you can see here motion eye so motion eye is an open source self-hosted network video recording depending upon with which you are satisfied and ad blocker Pi-hole I have been using a lot. So here is Pi-hole that I'm using for a long time now. And this is also installed through the script. You have ad guard also in case you want to block the ads on the network. That will also help you. Then is the document. If you want to use document management system or you want to digitize the document, so you can go with paperless ngx uh, lxc container whether you want to use wiki.js you can use that as well so there is a lot available in miscellaneous you can see many more are available depending upon what you want to install what you want to have of course when you go to proxmox uh, templates uh, these are the ct templates there is a lot of templates available ready-made turnkey solutions are there you can see here in these also you can have these turnkey solutions turnkey core is there tomcat is there ghost is there snipe it is there these are all ready-made lxc containers which are available few examples i have already shown you if you want me to cover any specific proxmox ve helper script you can mention them in the description i'll definitely come back to you